Hello, Ravensky23 here. How are you guys doing? Uh, just going to give a quick little vlog here. I always say that. A quick little vlog and then it ends up being nine minutes long. But I really don't have a whole lot to say today, so we're going to try to make it short. Uh, we had a, yet another snowstorm last night. We had uh, about eight inches of snow where we live. Around here, um, where I'm sitting in the car right now, they look like they had hardly anything, but that's hard to decide because it's about, I think it's like 36 degrees right now, so a lot of it melted. And that was a good thing because it's just the, the closer we get to spring, the snowstorms are less welcome. That's all I can say about that. Um, just a little shout out to Eva. Uh, Eva's always uh, just a crazy person. If you don't know Eva, you should check her out. Uh, she started to vlog and uh, she's got coffee, coffee, uh, oh my God, she's gonna kill me. Uh, coffee break with Eva, um, that's what she's calling her blogs. And uh, it's, what's funny is I've been giving her a hard time because um, while she holds her coffee cup in them until the recent one, she wasn't drinking the coffee. And she had water in one of them, so but I'm not going to hold her to that. She doesn't have to drink coffee every time. I just give it, I'll find something to give you a hard time about. Um, Eva and her brother Brad have become good friends of mine on, on YouTube here. We... Uh, enjoy each other quite a bit and I just want to give a shout out to them so I'll put their information over here if you want to go check out their videos they're um, they're pretty fun people uh, anyway so that was that and uh, Eva also wanted to know, wanted to know what we wore when we took videos because or shot videos and I pretty much do all my videos here in the car so you're not gonna catch me in my pajamas even the pajama bottoms here in the car in the parking lot at the VA hospital. Probably not. Um, there are times when I film at home, but usually I film like when I'm getting ready to go to work. And so I'm pretty dressed then too. Uh, yep, the bank pretty much makes me wear clothes. Yeah, pretty much. So, but there may be some fun stuff coming um, if I can think of it anything fun in just a little bit um, a video for her because. Uh, yeah, anyway, so usually what you see me wearing nine times out of ten is threadless, threadless t-shirts because I love threadless. I think it's a wonderful concept. I talked about them before and uh, basically it's people designing their designing t-shirts and it's like always entering a contest because you put in these designs. Of course, so many people do it. The odds of you getting, unless you're really good, the odds of you getting selected probably aren't that high, but they have text t-shirt so if you think of something funny you'd like on a t-shirt that you think other other people will think is also funny you can enter and do you know put text ones out um, or just designs of your own like I, I, I absolutely love this one this is I don't know if you can see this I love how I always have to do this so you can see the entire design do, 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 do. but as you can see it's got ravens on it so you know what what's not to love about ravens and crows um, I have a really cool crow video that I'm trying, I'm working up trying to do. Um, I shot it, um, I haven't posted that yet, have I? <laughs> I've been working on this, but no, I haven't posted it yet. I have a hard time with the, the aspect of my new camera. It's got like the 16.9 and the 4.3 aspect. And when I do the 16.9, I'm, I'm having a hard time with the software making it, uh, letterboxing it. I've gotten it right a couple times, but a couple of the band videos for Gandalf Murphy and the Slambovian Circus of Dreams that I've posted, a couple of those, the bars, on one of those, the bars weren't big enough. And so what ended up happening is they looked really tall and skinny. Well, you know, they are really tall and skinny, but it made them even more tall and skinny. So uh, while I'm on the subject of Gandalf Murphy and the Slambovian Circus of Dreams, they have a new album out today. Today's March 1st. Uh oh, I gave the date. It's March something, snark. Um, but March 1st, they have an album coming out and it's called The Great Unravel. And it's it's been four years in the making, something like that, and I can't wait to get it. I don't have it yet because they only had it, I think, at, con at the concerts, and we went and saw them before it was out. We went and saw them last uh, month, uh, February 8th, we went and saw them. And that's what the footage that I've been posting, that's what that's about. Um, anyway, so we'll have to go on. They're on cdbaby.com. Um, their link... Uh, 
on YouTube as well is Slambovia is their name on YouTube where you can watch some of their videos that are probably shot a little more professional than mine. Um, but they're good friends of ours. They're, they're just great people. Um, the lead singer is Josiah, Josiah Longo. He uh, has got a great voice. If you haven't watched my videos, you know, he's, he's just got a great voice. Um, oh, and also their website is just slambovia.com. So you can see what they're up to. It's a really fun site. And, uh, but they have their albums on CD Baby and, and dot com. And I would really recommend Flapjacks in the Sky. That's the album before this that they've been touring on for so long. And if you like their music at all from that, just get that. It's just wonderful. I'm, I'm doing a video now on the, actually on the song, uh, Talking to the Buddha. And I'm working up that. And, uh, they don't mind me doing their music. It's not copyright protected for me because I've gotten permission from them. Tony Zuzalo, the drummer, uh, is kind of the one that makes all the bootleg videos and everything, um, for the band. And they don't mind people recording concerts and everything because they are their own, on their own label. And, which I think is wonderful. And I plug them at every chance I get because I think they're fantastic. Um... Josiah's wife Tink. Uh, Tink is one, the one that plays the accordion and she plays um, cello and theremin. Uh, if any of you know what theremin is, it's, it's this wonderful instrument that, uh, well, search for theremin. It's T-H-E-R-E-M-I-N on YouTube and you can hear some people playing the theremin. I subscribe to several different people that play the theremin. Um, Let's see. And, of course, the best, they have two really great guitarists, and their lead guitarist is Sharky McEwen, and Sharky's phenomenal. Um, you can see some of his playing in my videos and also on their website and everything, but he's just a great guitarist. And also the one that really did a lot of work on getting this album out. So, um, uh, The Great Unravel. Oh, and I can't forget Chen. Chen is the bassist, the bass that play. Bleh, he plays the bass for the band, and he is the son, the oldest son, I believe, of uh, Josiah and Tink. And Chen is just a cutie. And he uh, he brings all the young girls to the group. <laughs> no, he's a sweetheart. And as all their kids are, they have five kids. Oh, Tink, I'm not supposed to tell you that, tell, say that you have five kids, but she just, she looks like a young kid herself. Anyway, so great people. Check them out. And, uh, give them all your support because they're fantastic and if you ever get a chance to see them they tour all over the world now or world huh, tour all over the united states um they've been going down to florida i've been trying to hook up or timber geek has been trying to give the mighty thor 1212 their information so he can go see them down there because uh we think he'd like them um they travel in the midwest they've been to michigan uh, I think they even played my home state of Iowa. I'm not sure. I don't remember on that. But anyway, they're, they're mostly, they're, they're based out of Westchester County in New York. And so they play New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts, um, New Hampshire, Vermont, um, a lot, in a lot of the places that anybody that lives in those areas, they probably have seen them or seen the name come around. That's how I first heard of them about five or six years ago, four or five years ago, whatever. Um, that's how I first heard of them. I heard the name, uh, Gandalf Murphy and the Slambovian Circus of Dreams, and I'm like, what in the world? So I got tickets and went to the town crier over in Pauling, New York, and we saw him there. Oh, no, that's not where we saw them the first, or is it? No, we saw him in Northampton, Massachusetts the first time. That's right. But this summer they'll be playing the Falcon Ridge Folk Festival. Uh, you want to go to the Falcon Ridge Folk Festival in New York? That is a fun time. We're going to be there all four days camping, and... Uh, Sorry, I'm really going off on this, aren't I? Anyway, that's enough about them. But since I don't really have a lot else to talk about, this could be pretty boring. 